Um, from Dave, all hail Clavin, supreme leader of the multiverse. Thank you. I shouldn't, you know, have to say thank you because it's just owed. But in your work, both as an artist and as a commentator, have you ever seriously struggled with overcoming self-doubt? Uh, since your work as a novelist requires you to expose your creative ideas to criticism and your work as a political commentator also requires you to expose your intellectual ideas to criticism, how do you manage to tune out the internal voice that tells you your novel might not be good enough and your arguments may be flawed? This is something I regularly struggle with, and I would suspect that your diverse career may have given you a unique vantage point on the subject. I am bizarrely equipped with a complete indifference to how people I disrespect regard me, okay? That is not to say when, you know, we, my wife and I have a system. When I write a book, I give it to my wife, she tells me what's wrong with it, I yell at her, and then I do what she said. You know, that's, that's the thing. I have to get angry for her. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean? It's perfect, it's perfect. And then I just figure she's a great editor, so I make most of the changes uh, she wants. You, you know, but I, I do have a remarkable capacity to ignore the opinions of people I disrespect, which is a lot of the people who disagree with me. I feel very, I, you know, I, I don't disrespect everyone who disagrees with me. I disrespect people who don't have the principles that I believe are, in fact, principles, right? If you're out there mobbing people, if you're out there calling people names, if you're out there, you know, uh, saying that a black person is a minstrel uh, because he doesn't uh, toe your party line, I do not have any respect for you. I don't care what you think of me. I really don't. I mean, I really have that feeling. However, however, I hate to make mistakes. I hate it. I've come on here a couple of times and got something factually wrong, and I hate that. I hate it when I, you know, like everybody, I don't like to have to change my opinion, but I will do it, and I don't consider it weakness. And you know, not every book I've written is as good as every other book. I'm aware of that. You know, sometimes you know when you finish something that's as good as it's going to be. Uh, you know, these are the things you live with. I think, I think the advantage I have and the one thing that can be taught and can be learned is I'm not a perfectionist. I work like a perfectionist. I work over every sentence, every word I write. I work over everything I do. I come in here, I do so much prep just to come in and talk to you for a few minutes. You know, I do a lot of prep and work. But I understand there will be errors, there will be slips, there will be things that are imperfect, and I live with that. So I, I don't know if that helps. I do have a weird personality about this. I do have a very, very thorny uh, outer sphere that keeps me from being devastated by criticism.